Okay, with this video, what I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, assemble all those maps that you have generated in a, a mud box in 3DX Max. Okay, we generated all the maps in the mud box. Now we're going to assemble them in 3DX Max. That is my next step. This is the barrel in a 3DX Max. Then I press M to get the map, and I'm going to create the new view in here. Okay, let me. Do. This is the material slate editor you get by pressing M key. Then if your view one is too busy with the, all those material, you can always can create another view. Create a new view. It's gonna create barrel textures. Then I'm gonna drop standard material. Then you know how to get the maps, how to get the external map into the 3DX map. That's through the bitmap, guys. You know that, I know. Get the bitmap node, drag it and drop. This is the texture file that I have created. If you can't find, make sure where you have saved those maps. My one is, um, I save under the project file. This is my project file name, demo max to uh, mud. And scene assist, always uh, save over there, scene assist under the image. And okay, now, just a matter of linking them. I create the bitmap and I go to link this bitmap to the diffuse color. If you still can't see that one changes, select the first node, the material node and make sure you click assign material to selection, then make sure you click this one show shaded material in a viewport. Here we go guys, that's fantastic, okay it's looking good. This is the texture map that we created in a mud box we got it in here now next one is similar to this one and similar uh, next one is getting the uh, specular map it's similar to similar way that you get the uh, texture map it map these are my specular map then can increase specular color that's done specular uh, map carrying the shininess of the texture you can't see it under viewport you go to render it out to see the shininess then next one is how to get the normal map to get uh, get the normal map into your 3ds max bit different to any other maps under the map there is a node called normal map you need this extra node to get that bit map that uh, normal map then connect this bit map uh, sorry normal map node to the bump which is over here then you can then it's similar to other maps get the bit map drag it and drop this is the normal map that I have created now you can join this one okay. you know normal map is activated to the lights it's, it's, it's going to respond to the light okay even you in the 3d view you can see but you can see if you have created the light what I'll do go to the create panel and then the light I'm going to create the couple of light and standard I'm going to create the omni light here we go it up and now hold down the shift key I'm going to duplicate the light okay at the moment I can't see anything that's because you have to realistic change this realistic to the material realistic material with maps okay soon as you are done you can see a little bit more but always you have to change these settings to see it properly go to the material slate editor and double click this node and I am going to change this my normal in here normal map I am going to bump up a little bit 3 and also then I click I click that this node okay to change this number to three and the first number material click that one and go to the map and see other maps has been set to hundred but not the bump map I want to set that one to hundred as well okay I got that one by clicking this node the first node and I'm going to turn it off now you can see the bump create the couple of light see these are the bumps 
that um, I create. Let me to rotate the barrel. As I rotate in, you can see the bump. Okay. That's the reason I have created this dent. I just want to demonstrate how the bump map is uh, going to look like. Bump map is always activate the lights. Okay. That's something you could remember. All done, guys. Okay. Uh, I think you understand the pipeline. You got to uh, let me to briefly explain what we did so far. We create the um, shapes and the 3D shapes, 3D model in a 3DX Max. Then we unwrap the UVs. Then after that, um, we export them to Mudbox. This, this one. Then we do the texture painting. Uh, then we create the specular map, then we create the normal map. Once we uh, done uh, all those things, generating map, we extract those map into the, our project folder. Then after that, what we did with our material slate editor, press M key, we link all those map to appropriate this uh, appropriate link. We apply the mat uh, one material, probably the standard material, then through the bitmap, we got I got all uh, bit, uh, like a color map and the specular map. When I when I'm applying the normal map, I got the extra node which is a normal map node, and I drag it and drop, and I link that to a bump map node which is over here. Then after that, through the bit map, I drag it and drop, and get the get this got this normal map over here. Then I connect that to the normal map node. Once I done that, I double click this node and I change it to three, this one to the hundred. Then to see the normal map is um, on your viewport, you go to create the lights. That's all guys, okay? Uh, I'm gonna um, do the texture painting and I'm, I'm gonna do the same process for other, um, other stuff. Uh, by doing so, I'll introduce uh, some other techniques that you can uh, utilize to your project and that you should learn. Okay, thanks very much. I know it's a long process, but the end result is really nice. I'm happy with this, guys. Hope you guys happy too. Thanks.